You know, setting up dual monitors are pretty simple, really. You just need to connect the two display cables into your graphics card and then voila! Alright, see you in the next video! Alright, I'm just kidding. It's true that setting up two, two or more monitors for your desktop is as simple as connecting the cables into your computer. But there are some things that you can do and take note of to make the most out of your setup. So let's dive in and see what we can do. Welcome to Fixie TV. I'm your host, Neil, and today we'll be walking you through some important details when it comes to setting up two or more monitors for your gaming PC. Alright, so before we even start with connecting your cables, we have to understand the different types of cables you can use for your monitor. Different monitors use different cables, and that does dictate what you can expect in terms of performance. Most modern monitors nowadays use HDMI or High Definition Multimedia. This is a great connector to use for most people since it provides both video and audio output signals from your computer. Do be wary though that audio output would only work for your monitor if it has its own built-in speakers. HDMI 2.0 is a newer version of this port, which is present in more higher-end monitors that have high refresh rates and better quality. We highly recommend checking the compatibility of your cable, the graphics card you're using, and the monitor before you get into HDMI 2.0 as these do kind of matter. On the cheaper side of things, we have VGA and DVI. These cables provide video output and can usually support up to 60Hz. They're great for secondary monitors since you usually only use that monitor for side programs that you use on top of your main monitor. Other than that, we don't recommend using these as your main monitor unless it's all you have. Lastly, we have DisplayPort. Much like HDMI, it outputs both video and audio. However, the current generation of display ports found in most graphics cards and monitors do support higher refresh rates. So, if you're going to use a high refresh rate monitor, we highly recommend connecting them to the display port of your graphics card and your monitor. Okay, before we actually set things up, we'd like to briefly mention adapters. There are adapters that can fit different cables into different ports. However, I personally don't recommend using them. Since, compatibility-wise, things can be a bit wonky. It's a viable option if you really don't have other choices. But do heed this warning that it's not always as easy as finding an HDMI adapter for that VGA cable you have. Your mileage may vary on this end. Alright, I've already shown you how this is done in the intro. But again, setting this up is pretty simple. Just connect all your cables behind the monitor to the graphics card of your computer. If your computer uses an integrated graphics card, then you can plug it in the motherboard. One thing we didn't talk about would be the orientation. The orientation of the monitor would depend on your preferences. For me, personally, I have my main monitor directly in front of me, and my secondary monitor facing me at an angle. This makes it easy for me to see the monitors without having to move my chair. There are a plethora of other ways that you can orient your monitor. We highly recommend watching this video from David Zhang, who goes over different orientations and their pros and cons. Usually, to be able to get these monitors to position that way, you'd have to buy a separate mounting kit. These can be bought in Lazada or Shopee for a relatively low price. Just make sure that your monitor is VESA compatible so that the monitor can be screwed into the mounting system. And there you have it! There are other things you can do to make the most out of your monitor setup, but this video should get you started at the very least. Dual monitors in and of itself is a nice add-on to any desktop experience since the extra space you'd have helps with multitasking and keeping things in track. I personally like it because it helps me be more productive when managing this channel. Go on ahead and boot up your system once you're done. One thing you need to do is set the refresh rate of your monitors. This is only applicable to monitors that support high refresh rate gaming. You would need to have already installed your display drivers before doing this. Once you've installed your display drivers, right-click on your desktop and click Graphics Setting. Once you're there, simply go to the Monitor tab, set refresh rate to what your monitor can perform, then apply. This will cause your monitor to flicker a bit, but that's normal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video! If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. We'll do our very best to reply to them. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. 
We release content every week, so hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.